The good news today is that the Subaru is almost completely fixed. But the bad news is uh, it costed money. So our goal today, I gotta pay back some of these repairs. <laughs> now it's not completely repaired and there's many things I wanna do to it. Like I hate these tail lights, they look terrible. Um, but also it's, uh, it's expired, so it doesn't pass inspection yet. But it does drive, which is some progress. So I'm a target because I need to grab something and then we're gonna get dashing. Not to mention, the car is DoorDash red. Come on, it's kind of perfect. Maybe I'll even, <laughs> probably not. Maybe I'll final wrap a DoorDash <laughs> logo on it. It's probably not the best dashing vehicle. It gets 20 miles a gallon, uh, premium only. Could be worse, but it's just so fun. <laughs> go to a different target so that I could get this GoPro head strap but I'm just gonna start where I am I mean we've, look we've got Chili's right there welcome to Chili's we got uh, Texas Roadhouse something Chick-fil-a over there Applebee's so let's see what happens while the app updates I guess I'll tell you a little more about the car since you're here it's a Subaru BRZ 2013 limited it's got a two liter naturally aspirated <laughs> boxer engine in the front it gets 199 horsepower under 200 horsepower might not sound crazy uh, because it isn't and it's a very slow car it's still updating why is it taking so long i do have an aftermarket perrin brand exhaust because it's larger and wider it lets more air through which increases the efficiency and raises the horsepower by seven so i get a resounding 206 horsepower it's still updating <laughs> we're starting at 8 30. i can now earn by time i don't know what this means You'll always, oh, you can get paid hourly now? Okay. Ew, what? If I earn by time, it's $11.75 an hour. <laughs> that would that would literally not pay for the gas. Okay, we're gonna earn per order. Who would do that? We'll do an end time of 10.30, we'll do two hours. Oh yeah, uh, so the car is leaking exhaust into the cabin. Also, there's no air conditioning. So both those things mean the windows will be down. Hopefully the food doesn't get too cold or smell like exhaust when we get there. Okay, so this shopping center is currently a hot spot, but uh, as we know, hot spots don't necessarily mean much, so. Five minute update. No orders yet. <laughs> it, on a Saturday evening, 8.30, come on. There hasn't been a single offer. I'm getting high priority because I am a top dasher technically. There's so many restaurants. I want to go driving. Hello, it's been 10 minutes. Two. <laughs> A $2.25 order from Zaxby's. That's cool. You would all you would all find me, dox me, come to my house and end my life if I accepted that. So I didn't, but I, it's, been, it's been 10 minutes. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Cause you know, sometimes it's like, oh, should I even, is it even worth going to a hot spot? I'm already in one. I'm not even, there's no what if. I'm in the best spot according to the app. Of course, again, that's not necessarily accurate, but what am I? I'm, 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 Two dollars seventy-five cents. This is the same order. Uh, they increased it by fifty cents. Wow. As always, the app bullies you and peer pressures you and makes you feel terrible about your life if you decline. But whatever. I already knew all those things. It's got me. It's giving me a delivery streak challenge. That's new. If you do six orders in a row, you get an extra nine dollars. What a what a sad little deal. <laughs> Still no orders. They almost hit me. <laughs> I've gotten to watch almost the entirety of the sunset in the beautiful Target parking lot. It's been so long without, an, I mean, I got one Zaxby's order. Oh, we got one. $9.75, seven miles. Look, I've got to do it. This is actually like not horrible. Where, where is Applebee's? Oh, there it is. Arrived. Got my damaged dasher bag. I've never been to Applebee's. What an exciting experience. This has been on my bucket list. DoorDash? Yeah, TM. Right over there, in that far corner. Hi, Thanks. you. Hi. Hey, you got DoorDash for TM. Here you go. Thanks, I appreciate it. So I've been doing a lot of Uber recently. I made uh, like over a thousand dollars just doing it on the side a little bit, uh, just within a, like a week. And um, <laughs> I really hate DoorDash, it's so miserable. Just every part of it, it's just such a drag. This food does not smell very good. It does not fit in my dash bag. It might smell like exhaust and get a little bit cold, but uh-oh, that's the DoorDash experience. 
In the time it took waiting for that order, I could have delivered five Amazon packages, possibly done two Uber trips, but at least one, and um, could have been pretty far into an Instacart. I just marked that I arrived at the location. That's not right. Also, last night I disassembled my brakes and put them back together. Uh, so we're gonna see if they work. <laughs> $7 tip, uh, $2.75 base pay. So yeah, tip was the only reason that I took it. What I don't understand with DoorDash is all, at all is why do I have to go back into the proper zone? When I'm doing Uber, like yeah, I can I start in a zone, but I don't have to stay in that zone. Unless I'm completing a quest specifically to that zone, I can Uber wherever I want in like within a massive radius. Sometimes I'm more than an hour away from home and I'm still like Ubering, totally fine. But for some reason, DoorDash constricts you to an area. So please feel free to let me know why that's a thing. Cause now I have to drive all the way back into my own zone and waste more mileage. And this is not a way out. This is a cul-de-sac. I've been driving for 10 minutes, uh, not to an order or anything, just uh, to get back into the zone. Unfortunately, texting and driving is kind of hard <laughs> in a manual car. And also I got a ticket last week for texting and driving, so I don't need a second texting and driving ticket in the same week. <laughs> All right, we've just entered the zone. I don't know where to go though. Like I can't just stop on the side of the road here. So I guess I'm just gonna keep driving back to where I just came from. At least I'm having <sighs> fun doing it. All right, we've got $7 from Applebee's again. All right, I'll do it. Great, back to the same restaurant. I guess that's fine, I don't know. Oh, I forgot to check the miles. I, t I totally forgot. I don't know how many miles this, this order is. I guess it'll be a surprise. And just like that, we're back. Oh, I gotta turn the car off. Well, I guess I don't have to. Oh, I gotta turn the lights off. Oh, I gotta lock it. Uh, yeah, Shan B for DoorDash. Shan, thanks, I appreciate it. That's for you, I have two. Yes, that's right there. There you go, I appreciate it. Thanks. Also, it does not fit in the bag. Oh. <laughs> Okay, look, it's been a long time since I've driven this. I forgot to put the parking brake on. <laughs> Whoops. There were lots of children playing in the parking lot, so let's not squish them on camera. Maybe turn on my headlights, just, you know, just a thought. <laughs> All right, this one was only two miles from the restaurant, but it did take a while to get back to the restaurant. So. Why would this light turn red? Got an apartment building today. Haven't been to one of these in a while. I've really only been doing, oh, that's probably the customer. They actually came down. How kind of them. Hey, sh yeah, Shan. Yes. Oh, got a DoorDash for you. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Hope you have a good one. You too. Thanks. All right. I would say that was a good order. $3 base, $4 tip. Got another order. Subway, five miles, $4.25. It's under a dollar a mile. So I guess I won't do this one. Got a 7.25 Zaxby's order, seven and a half miles. I'll do this one, it's a dollar a mile. For Uber and Amazon, for pretty much everything, it's a, it's a dollar a mile in my area. So yeah, yeah, I cry more. That's what I gotta do. I put the parking brake on this time. I hope you're proud of me. Uh, also, we've officially just hit one hour of dashing. Oh yeah, $16. And that's not including the time it took me to drive from home to that Target. And I know that doesn't totally count since I did need to go to Target, but also still, I, yeah, I still drove more.
There's a second second Zaxby's, so I'm adding that to the root. So we're picking up two Zaxby's now. Wow. That's actually good. That's um like $13, and it only added, a, uh, I think, three miles. Kind of want Zaxby's. Sounds kind of good. Oh boy, it's, it's popping the Zaxby's. It's going to be hard to find parking. It's gonna be so hard to get out of this spot. It's gonna suck. Thanks. No problem. There's Jan. Hey, yeah, Mira was the other one. You said Mira? Yep. It is not this one. Okay. Sounds good. This is Mira. This is your drink. Okay, cool. I appreciate it. Oh god, how are we gonna get out of here? This is a one-way lane, so I think I'm gonna get stuck. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're in. We did it, gamers. I'm gonna tie this since they don't both fit in the bag. Mira goes in the back, Jan in the front. And now to regret all of our life decisions getting out of this parking lot. Can we escape the parking lot? stuck here or not no now we're just more stuck oh they're taking my spot can I fit through there all right first stop is 12 minutes away right here but which order is it I don't know okay this is Jan Five foot five, and I still have trouble getting out of the car. Six seventy-five base pay. That's actually the highest base pay I've ever seen, and a one dollar tip. The next one is just seven minutes away. All right, we're at number two, just on the side of the road. We're going herping. Wait. What? That was a $2 base pay. I didn't know base pays even went that low. $4 tip for $6 total. And we are out of the zone again. And there was a toad, so this is now a herping video. All right, we'll go back to the Zaxby's area. Google Maps to navigate. If I don't have an order, we're getting another order. 725 Bojangles, eight miles. Um, I guess I'll do that. Just under a dollar a mile. If it sends me a notification, it just keeps on spamming notifications, and then my phone freezes. And so I have to reboot the DoorDash app and the Google Maps while I'm driving with two hands and two feet. <laughs> Obviously, DoorDash is sending notifications one second after another on purpose because it's the worst app. Just don't, just don't do DoorDash. Do Uber, do Amazon, do Instacart. Don't do DoorDash. May, you know what? Maybe we'll eat some customer food today. We'll see what happens. We have arrived at Bojangles. Parking brake on this time. Why is my phone vibrating? What does it want? Why is it vibrating? Oh. 
<laughs> uh, they closed their doors. Okay, that's cool. I made <laughs> I made eye contact with the staff. I was like, "Are you letting me in?" And they just walked away. Um, Bojangles store closed. Take a picture of closure sign. Lights turned off. <laughs> okay, so in order for me to not get in trouble for the store being closed, I have to take a photo of the store. It needs to show that the lights in the building are off. The lights are on because there's staff inside. It needs to show a sign that says it's closed. Well, there's no sign. What does it want me to do? That doesn't even make any sense. Lucky for me, I don't care if I get fired from DoorDash, so. Verifying photo. We're checking the photo to verify the store is actually closed. Photo was verified. I got $3.62 for that. With that, we are not doing this. We're, our dash is over. Oh God, why are the cops here? Oh God, why are there cops? Why, are, why is the cops lights on? Am I getting pulled over? Is that for me? I don't know why there's multiple cops here. Oh, the cops are not here for me. Okay. <laughs> I assumed that one of their scanners picked up my plate and that it was expired. Those cops were behind me a second ago and I was like, was I speeding? Like I was speeding, but I don't think the cops were behind me. And also they were kind of delayed to get to me. So anyway, uh, we're now done with the dash. We're gonna go ahead and leave and then we'll catch up momentarily. And I'm back. Um, I made $34.12. That was $14.50 from DoorDash, $16 in tips and $3.62 from that last uh, Bo Bojangles, which was closed. That was just <laughs> four deliveries <laughs> because there was so much time sitting and waiting. I traveled, not including to town, 40 miles, which is two gallons of gas, which is $8 in gas. <laughs> that means that was $26.12 in two hours, which is an hourly of $13. <laughs> What? How, why do people do this in this area? Thirteen dollar and six cents before tax. If you if you want to include my tax or whatever, all of my income is self employment, so I made after tax seven dollars and eighty three cents per hour. But I'll focus on the thirteen an hour because that's how I usually base things. Now it is Saturday night. The bars are popping. There's people going everywhere. If I had done Uber, which is if I wanted to actually make money, I would have gone and done Uber. Uh, I would have made probably. $60 in that time. Uh, of course, that would be in the other car, so also no gas, but also Amazon. If I had done that, that would have been $65 at least. <laughs> and Instacart would have been a bit less, probably more like $50, $40. That was kind of miserable to waste two hours on. That was an 8.30 to 10.30 shift. Maybe I'll do some more. We'll see. 